In mid-April, I'm excited to see a new male kestrel around at Ashwood. He seems to have set up his territory here, and I name him Apollo. He's looking for a place to nest. But there's one thing this young male is missing, a female to produce a brood of chicks. He sits in the entrance and seems to be calling at a female, and eventually he manages to attract a potential mate. But this nest has been occupied by a barn owl while he was away. So the kestrels head off to find a new nest of their own. Apollo is so keen is checking out all the potential nest sites nearby. And visiting the nests further afield at Fotherdale too. And some of the residents don't seem best pleased by the intrusion. In spring, competition for the nest sites is fierce, so I'm working around the clock and soon have another nest ready. So this is going to be the entrance hole and I've already cut it to shape, so it's going to actually slot in here. This new addition is immediately popular with the locals, which wasn't part of my plan. It's visited by jackdaws, stock doves, and even one of the resident tawny owls. But thankfully, Apollo soon stakes his claim. He immediately takes a like into the nest, but he's still got to convince the female. He tries to call her into the nest, but she just won't come inside. Despite his best efforts, the young female seems reluctant. She leaves and Apollo is alone once again. But this determined Kestrel doesn't give up his search for a mate. And the very next morning, he's back at the nest. He forms a nest scrape, a shallow depression for eggs to be laid in. This helps show a female that the nest is perfect. And soon, his hard work pays off. Apollo returns at speed, calling excitedly. He heads in and seems to be expecting company. And soon, a new female arrives. Apollo can barely contain himself, bowing up and down to greet her. This is Athena, and I can tell by her slightly grey tail she's at least three years old. She checks out the young male before heading off. He calls, hopefully. I suspect this is his first time courting. But he seems to have done something right. Just two hours later, Athena's back. And she enters the nest to have a closer look. She seems a bit unsure about my cameras, but she seems to like the nest. Food is a huge part of the courtship process in kestrels. So next, he brings in a vole for the female. And she's quick to take his offering. It's still early stages, but it's looking quite positive for Apollo. And the following morning, I spot her in the nest entrance. Apollo seems pleased to find her here too. 
She spends the whole day here, but as night falls, she senses a threat. One of the tawny owls is back to take another look at the nest. The Kestrel's keen to defend a new home, lashing out with her talents, but she loses her footing. Thankfully, she's undeterred by the ordeal. She even digs a nest scrape of her own. Athena is older and more experienced than Apollo, and she's keen to ensure her mate knows his role. During courtship, the male Kestrels provide the females with food. But recently, his contributions haven't been very substantial. She's not impressed and calls furiously at him. But as he tries to leave, she blocks the exit. He seems stressed, unable to escape. But eventually, she gives way. It appears a message has got through and he soon returns with a vole. Food has been hard to come by with this year's late spring, so he's got his work cut out, providing for two. But soon I spot the pair mating just off camera. By mid-May, Athena is ready. She digs a final nest scrape. And overnight lays her first egg. In the morning, Apollo returns to see his mate. But instead, sees their egg for the very first time. After all his hard work, it's so heartwarming to watch as he settles down to protect the egg. From young bachelor to hard working mate, Apollo has come a long way. And it'll be fascinating to watch as he continues to prove himself. This egg was laid yesterday, but the clutch is not yet complete. Kestrels typically lay about five eggs, so Athena soon returns to the nest with purpose and settles in. She even starts to dig a nest scrape, a sign she's ready to lay again. In the morning, she reveals her second egg, two days after the first. Now Apollo's back to guard the nest, Athena's off to stretch her wings, and he heads inside to take a look. He settles down to brood. Incubation duties are shared between the couple, but full-time brooding doesn't start until the third egg. Kestrels lay eggs every two days, so the next night I watch Athena closely. She heads inside, perhaps sensing the next egg is on its way. She settles in over her clutch, and within five minutes, third egg is laid. This is astonishing. Laying sometimes takes hours. As the sun rises, Athena comes out to take in the morning light. When Apollo returns, there's a new egg in the nest.
It's almost as if it's trying to count them. Over the next six days, Athena lays a fourth. And a fifth egg. And it's just magic to watch as Apollo checks on them. I can tell the clutch is complete because the pair begin to brood constantly. Kestrel pairs brood in shifts and Athena seems keen to ensure her mate knows his role. As she enters the nest, she calls furiously at Apollo to change duties. But even when he comes off the X, she blocks the exit. Apollo just can't win, and this isn't the first time this has happened. Eventually, Athena moves in to brood the eggs. Apollo takes his chance to escape, and he seems to breathe a sigh of relief. But there's no love lost between the pair, and over the following weeks, they seem to make it work. It's now only a few days before the first egg should hatch, but Athena senses something outside the nest. It's a barn owl, and it jumps inside. The kestrel eyes up the intruder. and leaps to the entrance to defend her eggs. The bow now lunges, but Athena holds it off, fanning her wings to block it from entering. Now she's on the attack, rushing into the entrance to see the owl off. With the threat gone, the eggs are safe again. It's not long before the first chick is ready to hatch, 33 days after the egg was laid. Athena can feel it bristling as it cracks out of the egg. And as the chick emerges, you can hear it quietly cheeping. It's incredible to get this insight into the chick's first moments. When Athena leaves the nest a few hours later, Apollo isn't far away. This hard-working kestrel is now a parent, and it's beautiful to watch as he sees his chick for the very first time. With four chicks still to hatch, it's going to be fascinating to see how Apollo gets on being a first-time dad. The first chick has just hatched, and the other four won't be far behind. Its first task is to learn how to take food. After a bit of encouragement from Mum, it opens its beak and starts to call, which is great to see. It weighs only 16 grams, so it's got a lot of growing to do. That night, Athena is woken by a noise outside the nest. It's a barn owl trying to get inside. It hops onto the ledge, but Athena leaps up to see off the intruder. She returns to her clutch and encourages the tiny chick back underneath her to keep it warm. There's no harm done. In the morning, Athena leaves the nest, revealing a second tiny hatchling. 
Apollo soon comes in to meet this new chick. He tries his best to brood, but he doesn't seem to know how. Male and female kestrels share the task of brooding eggs, but now the chicks are hatching, their roles change. This pair are still finding their feet. Athena is back with food and sends Apollo out to hunt. While Apollo is tasked with hunting, it's Athena's role to feed the chicks, keep them warm, and protect them from danger. By working together and having their own duties, they're going to be more efficient in raising their family. Athena's role is non-stop. Later that day, she's put to task with a new threat outside the nest. It's a stock dove wanting a look inside. But faced with an angry kestrel mother, it thinks twice and quickly retreats. Only half an hour later, a quiet cheeping signals the arrival of another hatchling. The third chick is breaking out of its egg with a little help from Athena. Athena sets off to stretch her wings, and like clockwork, Apollo takes over, bang on cue. Evening sets in, and Athena gets some well-deserved sleep. But she's soon woken by the barn owl. She sees off the threat and returns to the chicks. She really is a formidable mother, but she must be tired now. Two days later, all their hard work pays off. Athena reveals the fifth and final chick. She returns with a worm, and it's so heartwarming to watch as she feeds them. This kestrel pair are now working so well as a team. Athena is such a caring mother, and she defends the chicks fiercely. And first time dad of Polo is really stepping up to the challenge too. Apollo's job is to provide food, while Athena defends the nest and cares for the restless hatchlings. She's got a work cut out looking after these chicks, but this isn't her only concern. As night falls, there's an unwanted visitor. A barn owl. Athena sees off the intruder in no time. She's a fearless mother. In the morning, Apollo arrives with a sparrow. She snatches it from him and calls furiously. She must be hungry and he heads out for more. The chicks are hungry too and Athena carefully feeds them. They'll need more than this if they're going to survive. Prior items have been scarce this year after a cold, dry spring so I'm keeping a close eye on them. Later, Athena waits expectantly for her mate. Apollo is trying his best, but the smallest chick keeps missing out at mealtimes. It's only a few days old, and I'm worried it won't survive. In the morning, there's another unwelcome caller at the nest. An interfering jackdaw. Athena rushes to the entrance to see off the threat.
This constant vigilance is taking its toll. She's on edge, even irritated by flies buzzing round the nest. When she leaves the chicks, it's clear the youngest still isn't doing well. It's pale and breathing heavily. If it doesn't get food soon, it will die. It's not until morning Apollo returns. But he's got nothing to feed the family. And the tiny chick looks even worse. Six hours later, this three-day-old chick has perished. Food is in such short supply, Athena feeds it to the others. It's just heartbreaking. Athena should be keeping the chicks warm. But after this, she decides to take matters into her own hands and heads out to hunt. She's not the first back. Apollo arrives with a substantial meal, a young rat. The chicks can't feed themselves yet. This job just isn't part of his skill set, so he leaves the nest. There's no sign of Athena, and with the chicks calling at him, he comes back inside. He tries feeding them himself, but he doesn't quite know what to do. He goes to leave, but stalls again. He doesn't want to leave the chicks unguarded and instead waits for Athena's return. When she comes back empty handed, she's pleased to see the rat and soon gets to work. Over the next few days, Apollo really steps up to the challenge bringing in food around the clock. This includes sparrows and even a baby blue tick. He's such a hard working parent, but he's out of his depth when Athena's not around. Rodents, their favored food, seem to be in short supply. And only a day later, the chicks don't look well. They're left alone for long periods while the parents search for prey. And the fourth chick is struggling from lack of food and warmth. I'm not willing to let another chick die without a fight. So I head up to Ashwood to see if I can help. I open up the box and gently remove the chick. Right, I've got this little kestrel chick and it's super, super weak. I've got to get it warm, so I put it on a heat pad. And then I give the others some much needed food. Right, it's feeling warmer now. So we've just got to quickly get some rehydration fluids down it and see if we can save this little chick. Just a few drops at a time. But this is not a well little kestrel. 
Despite my best efforts, the tiny chick perishes during the night. Now only three chicks remain. But Apollo and Athena have fewer mouths to feed. And I'm able to lend a helping hand by putting some food into the nest. And in no time, the chicks are looking healthy again. Apollo and Athena have worked so hard, facing their biggest challenge yet. They've had to make tough decisions, balancing the need to keep the chicks either warm or fed. But thanks to their determination and a little help from me, these three chicks have survived and they're well on the way to becoming strong young kestrels. These three fluffy chicks are only two weeks old and are already left alone for much of the time. Their parents, Apollo and Athena, now only visit to bring in food for them. Despite their age, these young birds have to be tough. And they're already becoming feisty, just like their parents. Just watch these two fight over food. Now at nearly three weeks old, they're practicing flapping their wings. Young kestrels fledge 30 days after hatching, give or take a day or two. So incredibly, these chicks will take to the wing in just 12 days. The eldest chick is so inquisitive, barging past its siblings as it tries to explore. Only a few hours later, the chick clambers up to the entrance. But it doesn't venture far and is soon back in. This eldest chick is only a day older than its siblings but seems much more confident. It spends time removing its fluffy down and preening its emerging feathers. It even grapples at the nest floor, practicing its hunting technique. Kestrels use their sharp talons to catch their prey, so these skills will be vital for life in the wild. Although the chicks are developing well, they're still vulnerable. But when an unwelcome squirrel visits the nest, it's clear that protective mother Athena is never far away. Over the next few days, they grow rapidly. They're taking the first look at the world outside. And even the younger chicks are looking more mature. Now at 28 days old, they're ready for a very important day. So today's ringing day for the Ashwood Kestrels, so I'm gonna head up there and get them down, and we're gonna get some ID rings put on them. I don't wear gloves, so I don't damage their growing feathers. But I'm going to have to be careful. Kestrel chicks can be feisty. One's grabbed me with its talons. <laughs> 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 Fierce little characters. All right, we've got a bucket of little kestrels here and they're all feeling really good weight. It's going to be interesting to uh, give them a little weigh in and see how they're getting on. Gene Thorpe runs a local wildlife rescue centre. Gene's a trained and licensed bird ringer and I can lend a hand. 
start with this one, because that was the most difficult one to catch earlier. Ringing the chicks doesn't hurt them in any way, and the unique ring number is added to a national database, so the birds can be identified in the future. After the ring is fitted, it's time to weigh the chick. 350, yeah? This data will be sent on to the BTO, contributing to important information about kestrel populations and development. So these uh, young kestrels have had quite a troubled life. Uh, we've lost two of them uh, uh, because of lack of food, but I've been feeding them virtually every day as well to help them out, and these are a great way out of gym. Yeah. yeah. So that's all the kestrels run and they've all got individual numbers on here. So if we see them in the future we're going to actually know who they are if we can get a little indication of reading this number. So that's uh, another great job done, another three wild kestrels uh, that are going to fledge very soon. The chicks settle in quickly, and the eldest is soon back at the entrance, displaying its shiny new ring. The next day the chicks are full of energy, furiously flapping their wings. The eldest chick has lost nearly all of its down now. looking so restless. I think it could be ready to fledge soon. All of the chicks are becoming more feisty. As the eldest eats, the youngest jumps down to try and steal a bite. They're now becoming just as fierce as their parents. And they'll need to be to survive the rigors of life outside. The following morning, all three chicks are perched in the entrance. The oldest chick is now 31 days old and decides it's time to go. Leaving the nest for the first time is known as fledging. It stretches and hops outside. Just off camera, it flaps its wings vigorously. And the other chicks call excitedly just amazing to see the chick out of the nest. Now that it's fledged, I'm keen to see if I can catch a glimpse. So armed with a camera, I head up to Ashwood. I find the chick perched in a tree near the nest. So the young kestrels are fledging and I've got one of them just in front of me here. Absolutely great to see them out and about. Back at the nest, the other chicks are still surveying the world from the entrance and stretching their wings too. The fledgling soon returns to greet the others. And it's fabulous to watch them interacting. Spurred on by their sibling, the remaining chicks practice their flapping technique. And soon, now at 33 days old, it's time for them to take to the wing. The second chick hops outside three days after its sibling. 20 minutes later, the third fledges too. But this isn't the last I see of these young kestrels. 
All the Kestrel chicks are fledged now and they're still hanging around the nest. So I'm going to see if I can see what they're up to. So the young Kestrels are spending quite a bit of time in this branch. So I'm going to pop a bit of food on the back of it and get a camera on here and hopefully get some footage. It's Athena that's first to visit and she's soon joined by the noisy youngsters. These chicks are fledged now and will need to learn to hunt for themselves. But for the first month they'll hang around the area and continue to be fed by the parents. It's been incredible to watch this Kestrel family. Apollo and Athena have come such a long way, becoming a great team. Despite it being such a hard year, amazingly three of their chicks are fledged. Thanks to their hard work, these chicks have grown into tough young kestrels. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to see more. Here's a taste of what you'll enjoy seeing on this channel.